What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Instacart. Um, episode, I don't even know why I just said that. Anyway, I'm just rolling with it. So, <laughs> um, anyway, we're at, we're down south again. I think you guys should be updated by the time of this re release of the video. Uh, we're not in Kentucky. We are back in my mom's area. And we're going to be Instacarting over here for the meantime. We are about to slow down. I'm about to introduce some videos about what I got going on on the the other ends of things on the side whatever you want to call it um so anyway got my first order it is 149 i waited around for like maybe 30 20 minutes um got a 51 dollars it's a two batch so let's go knock this out real quick and um we're gonna make today really short because we got pretty late unless orders keep coming through but otherwise let's go knock this out it was like 51 items um split between two people so let's get it Yo, it is so damn high right now. Man, and I gotta pee something serious, so that ain't that ain't helping it, but I hate when some stores don't got bathrooms. Like Walmart has the perfect setup. They have bathrooms up front, they have bathrooms in the back. They realize their store is pretty big, which I know this grocery store isn't, but the accessibility to bathrooms, there should always be two sets in them in a establishment, in my opinion. Or just a grocery store that's bigger than a mom and pop like for real like it should be always two bathroom two sets of bathrooms but that's just my personal opinion but i think it's logical at the same time so anyway we're on to the first drop off it's like four minutes away from the store four minutes away from the store i like orders like that so let's go knock this out real quick What's up guys uh that order just dropped off the last one and sometimes i'll be wondering like when i see a, that it's an older person if i should have offered to come in or offered them any help with um the groceries but i guess that still should be something they should stay in their um what do you call it uh in their notes or delivery options like say wait for me to um, some people do but i don't know whatever i'm probably just overthinking that shit but anyway, um, done with that. About to head over by Aldi. See if we can get an order over there. It is like really fucking hot. Like, oh my gosh, I can't handle it. Um, but anyway, uh, so my order or that particular batch ended up being 52.22. So that's pretty good. Um, that might be the only batch for today. We'll see. I'm gonna get back over here and we'll see what we can make happen real quick so i'll get back with you guys if we get another order and if we don't i'll have an outro so i'll see you guys all right guys just accepted another order um 1988 the order and it's for like 23 items going like 1.5 miles um i probably could have waited around but oh well this is gonna get me to like 70 something so i'm okay with that so we'll just I think like 72, 73, something like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and knock this out real quick. It's not that many items, 23 items, 34 units. Um, not a lot of produce, but it's enough produce where those items are gonna be marked down or knocked down significantly. And this uh, particular store does pretty good on stocking. So I'll probably go through self-checkout. Might be a little quicker, just depending. But let's go knock this out and I'll get back with you guys. Man, that store was busy as hell. Like, the line was going all the way back, and that's not normal for a store like that. That felt like Costco or Sam's on a Sunday. Like, that was not good. And it looked like they had enough workers. I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like, I know it was a lot of older people working, but still, I don't think that should matter. Um, they Something was not right about that today. And I guess, yes, it was packed because otherwise there wouldn't be any lines, but I've never been in that store and it felt like that. That was like, 
you know how most stores have one set of um, aisles and then there's like a middle section so you can cut through all of them. This was past that middle section, like legitimately for the self checkout and the regular um, checkout. So that's kind of, kind of weird, but um, yeah, anyway, that took way longer than it should have. We would have been done by now because it was an easy shop. Everything was in stock. Um, besides the delight, there's a Cold Stone delight, Cold Stone ice cream. I think it's just ice cream, Cold Stone flavor. I don't know if it's a certain like cinnamon or vanilla, but um, they were out of the size that the lady had requested, but they had the big one. So I went ahead and got the big one. She was non-responsive. I even had to swap out her bread because they didn't have the Sara Lee white enriched with wheat or however you say it, uh, but they had the, um, the Bugs Bunny, or not the Bugs, the Bunny, I think it's just Bunny bread, I don't eat bread like that, I don't know, I think it's Bunny bread, but anyway, um, they had that, so I swapped that out with that, so we'll see, like, she's got these messages, so I don't know, I'm not really scared about the ratings anymore, especially since we're all determined on, like, the diamond cart and stuff like that, so, and, like, Tavar and everybody else says, like, you seem to get better ratings as you get or seem to do better with Instacart as you have a worse rating, which we've all kind of been saying that now, because, you know, once you become a five stars, like, you don't see shit. Anyway, okay, let's drop this off real quick. I'll get back with you guys. So, I got that dropped off. Somebody was in there having sex or watching porn, which is fine. <laughs> but you knew you had some food coming. Like, dang, finish that. Anyway. Alright, let me go ahead and get back to Aldi. It's 347 now. We can still probably get another good order, potentially. So I'm gonna go sit over here at Aldi and see what we can make happen. So I'll get back with you guys. Yo, so I hope you guys can see me well. Um the sun's kind of bright. But it's the other direction, so I feel like it should be fine. If anything, I just look kind of brighter. But anyway, um, we are going to stop at that last order I did. I went around, got some food. I think I went to Walmart and shop a little bit uh, for personal stuff. And, I mean, that's just going to be it for today. We started late, so I think we're active maybe like a few hours. Maybe like two hours or so. Because we got to order pretty soon after I finished that last one. Well, after I got it dropped off and everything. So, um, today we're going to finish off at... 7265 which is good for like three or two to three hours of work possibly i think it was four man i think i got here i think i said something around like one something um though i got here around one something and then i think i took one at two so yeah it was about like maybe two hours three hours of work for 72 dollars 72.65 i'm cool with that so that's gonna be it for today hopefully everything's been going well with you guys sorry i haven't been posting um i've just been moving and trying to figure things out uh, for myself and it's been it's been weird so going through changes like we all are with instacart not making as much money as we once were but i can say this sunday sundays are typically good but the last few sundays i've been working have been shit, and this one was good i mean i got here late if i would have got here early it looks like i would have made maybe upwards of two or upwards of 150 or 200 but I didn't get here that early um so but either way i think today is pretty solid i'm gonna go hard this week i don't know if i'm gonna be going from thursday through sunday or working tomorrow as well i'm highly considering coming tomorrow but definitely gonna take off two days during the week to work on my other businesses and make sure i'm not spreading myself I guess too thin with everything. I need to dedicate time and channel and tunnel vision and focus in on things. So, but anyway, like I said, I hope you guys been doing great. Um, let me know what's been going on. Subscribe and comment below. Let me know how your weeks have been going so far. Do you think since school starting, things are going to pick back up? People are not vacationing as much. Uh, they're going to be at home with the children or I don't know. And then people, you know, going back to college. So, I don't know, like, just let me know what you think. I, I think it might have picked up today, but it is Sunday. So, I think coming tomorrow will be a good tester because I think most schools around this area start tomorrow. Or no, start next week, I mean, um, or the following week after that. It's kind of from here on out up until I bet like the first week of September, schools are gonna be starting whether that's college or um, just grade school, you know, K through um, 12. 
So anyway, like I said, I hope everything's been going good. Stay positive. Uh, keep moving forward. If Instagram is really slowed down for you in your area, really think about something else you could be doing. You don't want to hinder or slow yourself down for personal growth because the growth of a company is not fulfilling your needs. You need to always have personal growth. And with that personal growth, it's going to bring currency eventually. Like, I don't know, like if you work on just communication, you could be a communicator for a company. Hell, Instacart. Handling um, HR or just public relations you know there's so many different things that you could be doing as long as you're doing personal growth while you are doing these other things for other people instacart we do not own it we can work as long as we want get up as early as we want don't work at all if we don't want to but we don't own this you know so no i mean you are an entrepreneur but you're not having ownership of this so, and that might not be for everybody. It might not be for the person watching this video, but I'm assuming if you like that freedom aspect, you might as well do some personal growth and fill, or fill things out for what you can do to market yourself and just to see what you could do to bring in your own money, your own, like your ownership. Like just, I don't know. I feel like that's the best feeling ever. Like you own something, you put effort into it, trying to make sure it succeeds or just to bring in some type of currency while doing gig work such as um, Instacart. Like I said, let me know what you guys are doing. Comment, subscribe, and just um, chat it up in the comments. And I'll get back with you guys probably tomorrow. I don't know when my video is going to come out about my side business that I'm doing. Um, I really, I'm still working on my logo. That's one thing. So once that gets done, that's going to help me be able to, I guess, feel comfortable with showing things. Um, but also need to do some other things on the back end too. But yeah, I think I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm doing, but not necessarily showing you the back end just yet. Cause there's some things I need to get, well, trademarked and everything else. So um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so just let me know what's going on with you guys in your lives right now. Any new adventures you guys are taking. Just let me know what you guys got going on. And I hope this week goes good for you. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow's Monday. So go hard. Monday, I know it could be terrible. But for the entrepreneur, it should be the greatest day. Because you get to start a new week, new work week. And you get to go hard again. Go hard. Are you breathing? Can you walk? Can you talk? Can you do all this other stuff that a human is able to do? You know? Just go do it. You have the abilities. Because those who don't have the abilities are probably going harder than you. And I hate to say it like that. I know they go harder than me. Because, I don't know, the people I know who have disabilities to a certain degree, they go hard. They got to. They got to step it up. They have to. So, you have to as well. Don't wait for something like that to happen. Step it up right now while you can, while you have abilities. Make sure you are living the best life you can. You're breathing right now. I don't know. Like I'm not trying to preach to you, but man, life is it's short. You just don't know. And I, I didn't know what they meant as a kid, but now it's like I'm seeing people just pass away, you know, and it's just like they're old and young. Like it doesn't, death does not choose age. Like it can happen to anybody at any time. So I don't know. Just while you're here, just maximize it. Make sure you're happy while you're doing it. I know I keep saying get up and work and everything, but if it's not make, bringing you happiness, find something that is bringing you happiness. And I just know the currency is going to follow. It just is. So, like I said, guys, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. And always stay positive and stay safe.